Carrion refers to the dead and decaying flesh of an animal. Carrion is an important food source for large carnivores and omnivores in most ecosystems. Examples of carrion eaters include vultures, hawks, eagles, hyenas, Virginia opossum, Tasmanian devils, coyotes, komodo dragons, and burying beetles. Many invertebrates such as the burying beetles, as well as maggots of coliforid flies and flesh flies also eat carrion, playing an important role in recycling nitrogen and carbon in animal remains. Carrion begins to decay the moment of the animal's death, and it will increasingly attract insects and breed bacteria. Not long after the animal has died, its body will begin to exude a foul odor caused by the presence of bacteria and the emission of cadaverine and putrescine. Some plants and fungi smell like decomposing carrion and attract insects that aid in reproduction. Plants that exhibit this behavior are known as carrion flowers. Stinkhorn mushrooms are examples of fungi with this characteristic. The word carrion is often used in Danish mythology to describe animals that have been sacrificed and animals that have been killed due to the god's fury. Sometimes carrion is used to describe an infected carcass that is diseased and should not be touched. An example of carrion being used to describe dead and rotting bodies in literature may be found in William Shakespeare's play Julius Caesar, Cry Havoc, and Let Slip the Dogs of War. That this foul deed shall smell above the earth, with carrion men, groaning for burial. E.I. Another example can be found in Daniel Defoe's Robinson Crusoe when the title character kills an unknown bird for food but finds its flesh was carrion, and fit for nothing. In New Hyde Law, the Thierry Count laws of Ulla include the prohibition of humans consuming carrion, this count is in addition to the standard seven law count and has been recently published from the Judeo-Arabic writing of Shmuel ben Hofni Gain after having been lost for centuries. References <laughs>